So let's take a quick tour of the site. First of all, this is part of the Wanga Walk. As you can see to the left, this is the Murama healing space, where people gather in a circle, with the opportunity to speak freely amongst the community. As we come to the right, behind the fence is part of Newington Nature Reserve, a, prote a protected area for wildlife, as endangered species occupy this territory. Now we approach some obelisks. These used to be part of the Sydney Olympic Games, and after the event some of them were transported here, where they are now used as a memorial for Aboriginals to share their stories on their historical events and their culture. As we continue round, we'll get a better view of the Murama healing space a place for people to share stories, as well as learning through indigenous arts. Then you'll notice by the weather, you can see the I am sign. This is a symbol of the Invictus Games. As we continue round, you will see that the healing space is home to Aboriginal artwork, as we can see to the right. Now we start to approach the cranes and the sign by the tracks. We will begin the journey of a gunpowder barrel right here. On the right of the tracks is the entrance to the armory, which we will explore later on. But as we follow the tracks, we will go over the waterway via a bridge and towards building 18. From here, we will take the tracks to building 18. On the right, we will come to explore the purpose of this structure, start thinking what it might be and what its purpose is. As we get closer towards building 18, a tunnel will be visible with a mound of earth around it. Once we go through the tunnel, we will reach building 18. From here, the tracks take us to Newington Armoury. Notice the archway as we roll through on the tracks. The inscription RV, standing for Regina Victoria, is written here, as well as the year of opening, 1897. As we pass through the front of the armoury, you will notice a building to the left inscribed with a number 142. This was the munition checking and testing building where the coming ammunition were checked for defects with an issue hatch and receiving hatch included. As we move further in, you will notice copper wires running down the building. These were designed to ground the building in the event of a lightning strike and prevent an explosion from occurring. Now we come to a blast wall with giant concrete walls placed in between buildings to prevent a chain reaction of explosions from one building to the next. Moving on, we are travelling past the outwards ammunition checking and testing points where the explosives would yet again be checked to ensure no defects or corrosion incurred during storage.
As we start moving up the hill to the heart of Newington Armory, we come to the storage warehouse. Let's see what's inside. 